Yo yo, it's Ringerlis here, and you are watching Wrench Feels Like Playing Withering Runes. If you enjoy the video, please feel free to drop a like and subscribe. It'd be really appreciated. And without further ado, let's get it on. Uh, we're just going to continue off here and uh, see if we can uh, accumulate some items, maybe uh, some healing items, some spells, just to uh, maybe uh, give us a little bit of an advantage here. Um, just died recently, so hopefully I can uh, recoup some, some losses here. And then we can uh, move on. What is our main quest right now? So first rich is find another blue bookshelf secret passage and then Mostin Mausoleum. Find a way through the Heads Mage and enter Mostin Mausoleum. So last time I tried entering the Hedge Mage, got a little overwhelmed. Um, might want some more spells and healing. Just to allow ourselves a little bit of uh, leeway. Taking damage. So. If you can, oh. I hear an uh, enemy coming beside me. Yep. I need to dodge. I'm gonna run away. Do not want to fight him. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Who's that? Okay, maybe. Stun locked her. Stunned her again. Uh oh. Damn. That does so much damage. Okay. I'm running away. Attack her. Got her. Um. I kind of want to run away from him. Maybe hide here. gonna keep going oh no he turned around hopefully he doesn't look for me damn it okay so when they start looking oh no 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 that's really frustrating there's nothing to like hide behind so it's like damn i'm gonna die again how do you stop dying Oh, I'm... Do I have anything? No. Like, I literally just started another playthrough and I don't have anything. Man. Um... Damn it! Where do I even go? Just try to search everything? <laughs> what was that? Nope. Nope. Oh, come on. Wow. Wow. Well, that was quick. That was quick. Hmm. Okay. Patience. Approach it slowly, I guess. That's frustrating. I just want to... I just want to move on. Okay, so... Damn it. Really have to have some patience, I guess. Banquet hall, I hear a guy. Oh, we really gotta take this slowly. Try not to. Attract too much attention. in there we can so there's a guy on the couch so maybe if we just attack him maybe get us get some uh finger or something let's just attack him whoa we hit the wall oh what is that did we is there's another person in here what the heck what the heck
Jeez. Like, did they hear me attack me? Is that what that is? Really? Okay. So, I'm getting some more items this time. I really, like... Gotta pay attention. To, uh... Even making noise in another room while tracked. At least that's kind of how I took that. I hear him. Come on. Close the door. And keep... So he's looking for me. So he like heard me. Awesome. Yeah, let's open the door, go through. Oh, and then there's the other one. I can kill her easy because she stuns, but the bigger dude, I can't stun it with uh, with heavy attack. And then there's a guy in here. Hear him. Whoa! What the hell is that? Okay. Seems I've attracted quite a few more enemies. I don't know if I can even sneak past this guy with the shield. He's like seemingly looking for me. He can hear. Go in there. Oops. Uh, okay, so there's another coffer in here, so we can hopefully get them. Let's close the door, actually. Like, I'm just... Man. Worried about everything at this point. I really don't want to die just preemptively here, so let's just keep looking for items. Anything that'll help. Sponsor's chest, too. Unlike traditional chests, where pieces are either alive or dead, units in Ponster's chest can suffer from varied variety of temporary afflictions. So they're basically just going through through the uh, through the game here and all the status and stuff effects. Um, the unit bleeds a rate of 2% health per turn and leaves a bloody trail for 15 turns or until they use a suitable healing item. Poison unit is slowed by 25%. And loses 1% of health per turn for 30 turns until they use the suitable item. Paralysis cannot move for 5 turns. Curse rot afflicted when the unit reaches their curse tolerance. The unit rots internally at a rate of 1 health per turn until a warding candle is in danger. The unit is near death and should heal immediately. Any magical healing effects cease to work. Hmm. Okay. Let's attack this guy. Got him. Ah, I don't want to take too much damage. Uselessly. Got some materials. Open it and a corrupt finger. So let's hopefully we can like use those on the vases and hopefully we can store more items i think that's also used in leveling up as well so maybe we can level up a little bit as well okay so i hear him oh let's close the door actually that's the direction i want to go in so that's kind of that's kind of shady and there's two of them out there. Oh. I know both of them are that way. Did she see me? Doesn't seem like it. 
She won't take too long to kill, I believe. Oh, she turned around. That's... A little rat snack. Got her, got her, got her, got her. Okay. So now I have to just worry about the guy with the shield. Really hoping that I can just see him. Let's actually hop in here. See, this place doesn't have a sigil above the door, so I could get attacked in here, it seems. I'm gonna close the door. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Remembrance tier. Offer a remembrance tier. Yeah, let's do that. You've unlocked one remembrance slot. Manage remembered items. So I have a pipe. I will, I want a shield for sure. As a remembered item. Whoa. Okay, that was just a uh, picture frame. Maybe I take a first aid kit? Does that work if I use it? Probably not if I had to guess, right? Let's just go with a, a first aid kit. I don't believe that'll work, but maybe it will. Do I, did I lose it? No. Okay. Welsh Country House 6. Because it had relatively modern plumbing, gas lighting, and plenty of space, Boston House was reopened as a private cholera clinic in 1883. It received the occasional wealthy guests, but keeping the house clean and re running was too expensive for operation to turn a profit and ultimately was shut down just five years later. In 1888, the Blackett joined the Burgen burgeoning private asylum business, which was a smashing success. Gent Gentry from the Midlands pounced on this opportunity to spend their troublesome child, children, and misbehaving wives to the Mostern private asylum for rehabilitation in the beautiful estate. Would they still be so eager if they knew the dark history of the house? They probably would. So, do we have enough to craft? So, let's craft a shield. Craft another shield. Dummy or door hex? I've never used a door hex. Anyone that opens it will be engulfed in a cloud of incursed energy. The effect lingers for several seconds. Hmm. It'll probably take some time to set up, too, though. So, how do you, like... You put a doll in a door and then in a like cabinet, curse the cabinet. But then how do you make someone open the cabinet? Is the cursed doll like just make them open the cabinet maybe? Okay. Try that. Okay, so I got some spells. Um, let's hit the shield right now, might as well. And then, um, let's go back to our pipe wrench. Um, we need more items for sure. I definitely want a shield. Uh, no, let's not go in there. I don't need to go in there. There are items in there? Maybe there's items in there, actually. Let's go in there just to see if there's items. Let's... I know I can use some. Maybe there's not items. It would make sense. It's probably not items. Nope. No items. That's not good. He's on the other side of us. Crafting jars times four, that's good. 
Please come from the right direct. Okay, good. Now, does he look for me or does he just walk by? He just walks by. Keep on walking, buddy. Perfect, go. Oh, perfect. Maybe open the map. Study. So that's. Oh, I don't think I have any items to actually make make anything. she sell anything? Nope. So her, her creepy doll there, so I can do the creepy doll in a cabinet. He gets me stuff for gold. I don't have much gold to spend. I'd rather spend gold on items right now than the those scroll. I hear him again. Um, we might want to just try and get out of here. here. Okay, so it's that, and those aren't actually that bad to kill. Oh boy, there's a ghost there. I'm just gonna leave. Um, I don't have any slates for my picture for it for my photo so like i need to get some slates for the for the uh for the camera there hmm hmm i feel like that would be a good idea am i cursed enough to see a mirror probably that's so that was a mirror in there. I don't want to go in there. Let's go in the study, see if there's a mirror in the study. The guy is not there. Is there a mirror in here? Doesn't look like it. Damn it. Yeah. Um. gallery it's another safe zone is there a mirror in here yes there is okay. so let's see if we're cursed enough to see oh this guy mass man good evening how can i assist you buy one gold okay sweet i can buy stuff from this guy let's buy some Buy some things from this guy. Cheap wooden ring covered in blood. It's not skill that takes me makes me effective. It's my impressionable barbarianism. Twenty percent melee damage. Yep, taking that. Taking that. And this is fire resistance. I'm assuming. Yeah, fifty percent fire damage. The only one that has done that so far is the candelabra girl. Uh, cursed explorer ring. An elaborate ring, small carved stone, skull of an ivory snake. To explore the boundaries of the dream, one must increase their tolerance to the curse. 25, yeah, let's take the curse resistance. 25%. That cost a lot. I only have three left, three gold left. So there's not really going to be much point in going to the curse lands now, which was dumb of me. I really should have taken this, the picture frames. I'm assuming that might have actually given me even more, more gold. Um, for now, we're just going to go with a medicinal herb, and hopefully we can make, make a bunch of those, just for the healing. Um, rogue's ring, a copper ring with engraved de depicting a dagger. The process for tricking the dream into thinking a ring has magical properties is a simple matter for a theatrical inclined. 3% damage to melee attacks from behind. Interest. Interest. Okay, so I have some rings to play around with. 
Okay, so let's look. We have a protective ring that does 10% or 10 plus health and 25% bleeding. 33% curse damage decrease, plus 25 max curse tolerance. Is that a percentage or an actual like hard number? That's a hard number of 25. Just bought this one. I want to wear the 20% melee damage. That 30% damage from behind is pretty sweet too. Chance of doubling damage dealt. This is like a critical ring. Yeah, critical chance ring. 10% health and bleed resist. Hmm. A lot of good options here. I definitely want that tolerance. We will go with that for now. I almost want to take this off and do that as well. Let's do this, see what this setup feels like. And hopefully we can save some of these rings. I took a decent chunk out of my health. Let's reveal the mirror. I don't have any gold, so there's not really much point of going in there right now. So we're gonna need to get some more gold. Or do we have stuff to sell that we can sell? Three fingers. Would that be enough to level us up? No, because we don't have gold. So these bookcases. Blue bookcase. Is that something that would be in here? Probably not. Okay, let's keep going. Close the door, let's take a look. Not hear him. Let's go. Hopefully he's on the other side of us. Never even used a spirit twig before. Go this way. Let's go to the basement, or do we want to go... Hmm. I think we might want to go to the basement and just try to get some more items. So here's a secret passageway. Coffin chain. Search. Warding candle. So this is probably has enemies in it. Oh, no. Is this a safe place? It's a safe place. So who is that? Cup of tea. Speak. Mr. Coffins. Oh, and there's another guy over there too. Oh. Mr. Coffins. He doesn't speak. Do you speak? Filthy wretch. This is the filthy wretch. Ah, Nightingale. Excellent time. This is my associate, Mr. Coffins. He doesn't speak. His name is probably perfect, as I have enlisted him to help with this coffin. Tired of losing your valu valuable possessions each night? By having Mr. Coffins look you, lock you here each night, you wake up with all your things intact. There is a small cost for this service, a few coins. All right. A snack for Mr. Coffins. A corrupted finger or two will do nicely. The price will go up each night until you die. Dear Mr. Coffins is not a machine, and we must be compensated for getting any rest. For not getting any rest. Keep her safe in here, Mr. Coffins. Absolutely no eating the customer. Speak to Mr. Coffins. It's a corrupted finger and a strange coin. Five strange coins. So this is if this is a next day. I haven't even I haven't even gotten to a next day yet. Start anew whilst remaining retaining all item. Interest. Members, corrupted liver, which I don't have. 
Savior's ring. Ancient ring. An ancient Byzantine ring. This is chance any any damage received by the wearer has a chance to be half. The chance scales with luck. It was that little yellow flash just now. How curious. A 7% chance of having damage received. Not very high. It's still something. Dummy spell. Maybe we can sell our dummy spells. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of dummy, but maybe I'm just not really good at using it just yet. I have three corrupted fingers. I definitely need more gold if I want to like level up. I think it's two corrupted fingers and some gold, like 10 gold to level up if I remember correctly. Um, our only really quest is to uh, get to the mausoleum. So we really need to just try to get some items as best we can. Servants quarters, just go in there. Probably have to fight something. Healing items, crafting items. I would probably should craft if I could craft somewhere. Poison damage. Oh, who's that? Probably an enemy. Oh, yep. It's a witch. I am not fighting a witch. Damn it. Well, damn. Um, maybe I should eat a stone. Oh. That music or sound made me nervous. 35 health. Okay. Um. Damn. Now I'm worried about that witch. Here, monster. Oh, and the witch opened the door, it seems. That's scary. If I go through here, she's just gonna pop out. Door again. Got some poison stuff. Really like some healing stuff. Phantom's ring. It'd be cool if I could wear more than one ring or four rings, but. I guess can't be choosers. You gotta just choose. Okay, another witch. Jeez. I do not want to fight witches. I'm not good enough right now. Blank scroll. Get some healing. Okay. And I need to be able to craft. Um. So where can I craft? Sucks that you lose your map when you die. Outlaw wax table, so that's spells. I want to be able to craft. Bookshelf, passage, banquet hall. I think I'm gonna crafting is down here somewhere. So. Let's keep looking. Hopefully we can survive laboratory perfect boom where i want yep i want some healing for sure poison and more healing okay perfect i don't think i'll it sucks because I just like sometimes I just don't use items. Paralysis leaf. Maybe I'll go make some paralysis. 
just seems really hard to actually like aim and throw and actually get them like the guy with the shield like just like i feel like he dodged my freaking throw when i tried throwing paralysis stuff at him what i thought i was in a fucking safe zone i guess not um uh, maybe let's try some strategy here let's go throw some poison at this Throw some poison at this and see if I can see if I can get somewhere with this. Oh, it's disappeared again. So we're gonna try. Well, I kind of made and did what I wanted here. What else would I need? A shield, I guess? Some gold would be nice. A level up would be nice. Was she that hard to kill? I don't feel like it. You know what? Screw it. Let's try this. Got him. Oh my god. She looks like she's a hell of a hard kill. Unless poison and... Nope. We're gonna throw another jar at her. Ah, that didn't hit. Should probably aim. Actually aim again. Hit her again. Oh, jeez. Oh no. That was dumb of me. <sighs> okay. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do. Pick the pipe, and then roll. Hit her. Okay, so she is hard to kill. Ah, I really wish... Oh my goodness, I'm dead again. I'm dead again. Wow. Let's heal. Um, heal again. And hit her. She missed. Damn it! Come on, she's almost dead. I got her. She's dead. What is that? What is that? Paralysis? No, I want healing. I want healing. I am... Man, am I dead? I need healing. Okay. Whoa, there's so much extra shit going on now. I'm cursed, so there's a lot of extra shit going on. Let's put out a warding candle. Holy crap. Um, and then a pipe. Hopefully, okay, so what just happened here? What's going on? There's a lot going on here. Corrupted heart, some third and gold. I got a lot of items here, so we can, hopefully we can like, really hoping I can like level up and stuff. What is this? I think we're good. Let's just, uh, oh, I'm gonna say stand by the warden candle and Hmm. Okay. Got another acid jar. Maybe I think about making that a thing on our wheel where the poison jar was. Man. It is super easy to just another guy there i don't think i have to hurt this guy does he attack me i don't think so i can if i want but okay that's I take curse damage just by walking here medicinal herb oops do you man it's it's quite difficult to like so what is this 
It's just a creepy freaking thing, or is that all it is? Oops, wine cellar. What's in here? Hopefully nothing too crazy. It's the first witch, right? Manage a remembered item. Man. Um, let's take out the healing and we will put in this 20% damage. Did she level me up? Can I level up? First switch. Offering. Corrupted finger. Coin. Okay, let's level up a little bit here. So, maybe I should just go Vigor? Curse Tolerance plus 10. Let's go Vigor. I'm wondering if every time we level up, the game gets harder. Let's go again. I have a feeling every time I level up, the game just gets harder. And more enemies and stuff appear. I could be wrong on that, but that's kind of a feeling I have. Let's go Vigor again. Corrupted heart and a corrupted finger and 10 coins. Okay, so we leveled up a little bit here. Just search for items. Where does this take us? Strange bedroom. Oh yeah, this is like the other witch, right? Firework. An odd firework left over from previous bonfire night. Quite loud. Quite loud. And attract attention of anyone in the current floor. 30 fire damage, 100 protect poise damage. Impact. A feeling there's a witch up here. No. Interesting. I definitely would like picture frame slates just in case I run into ground floor corridor. See so, you know, a where we are. Kind of want to go back down to the basement. Maybe get some more gold if we can get more gold. Kill a few more enemies. Let's do that. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a shield. If not, I think I'm gonna have to buy a shield eventually here. Storage. Hopefully there's items and stuff in here. Some gold. What's that? What is that? Nothing. Get some gold, some rings. So I can sell some stuff that I definitely don't need. Or at least won't be using. So I wonder if I go to the other side or the wrong room. Get some curse so I can go to the mirror realm and get some other items. I need more gold though. Okay. Did I kill? I killed. Is there only two guys in this hallway? Servant's bathroom. So I know there's like probably healing in here, and there's definitely enemies. Is there a ghost in here that I have to worry about? No, so it's just the one enemy. Those are enemies. They're not actually too bad. They're not too bad. Let's start it off with a, an acid jar. Or do we want to start it off with a dummy spell? Maybe let's go dummy spell. Can I aim it? No. Okay, so dummy spell. Roll past them. Try hitting him in the back. Do I have that ring on? Yes. Let's see if this works. 
So, dummy spell. Boom. Let's go to my pipe. Um, and then hopefully I can roll behind and they roll behind. They still attack me. They still attack me. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so that didn't work. That's bullshit. Okay, well, that's not good. Let's just kill them. I am poisoned. Got him. There's nothing to loot. Okay. So I'm poisoned. Hopefully I can find... So let's... Get some healing. Bandages. Kind of figured I was going to get some like healing stuff in here, but of course I took damage. What have we done so far? Servant's bathroom. Let's go last room here. Maybe let's not mess with that. Um Yeah, let's go and see if we can uh buy some things from uh the uh Nameless dude of nowhere or whatever the dude name is. No one. Lord nobody of nowhere. Photographic dry plates cost five coins. You have twenty three. So if I go one, how much does a Bible cost? Thirteen. Slightly increases luck. Can be held out, hold spirits at bay, or even push them around. 50 luck. Left hand. So it's not even like your main hand. Do I want one of those? Probably safer than a picture frame. No. Maybe later. Or do I buy it now? That I have two slates. Does it only... It's 50 luck. And then does it only affect spirits? No. We're gonna go heal. Wait. Let's buy another one. We have three picture frames. Let's sell some rings here. Sell. So we can sell some things we're not gonna use. So what is this? When a wearer is over 50% cursed, a faint violet glow appears at their feet. Their footsteps become much quieter. So, I'm not going to use that. Firing, I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use the believer. Probably not going to use the buttery shards either, but we'll keep those. Okay, so now we have 30 gold. Now that we are better acquainted, I have something for you. Picking the perfect look from a giant pile of outfits and rings takes time. To instantly recall your best ensemble, you should write down in this fashion record. I used to have more records, but I've given them all out. Maybe you'll find them. Multiple records mean multiple looks for your burger tips. Fashionable young women like us need to help all the help we can get. Okay, whatever the hell that meant. Okay, let's get out of here. Didn't end up getting a shield, but... Maybe... I'll speak to him again. Bye. Floral dress. Permanent light out. Is it better than mine right now? I think it is. 30. False 30. Set of bloody bandages wrapped around one's head. 
perfect for crafting or frightening appearance. Complete a build up. Eh. Maybe I want a Bible. I have six warden candles, so I'm not gonna buy one. I have three plates, I'm gonna buy one more of four of those, and then we'll spend our gold elsewhere. Is there a remembrance thing in here? There is. But it's already used, so yeah, let's get out of here. Are we just gonna take it on now? What else do we... What else do we need? So let's go and try taking on the mausoleum, I guess. Maybe this guy has something to... Something to sell me. That I might want. Bye. This is an apprentice candlestick tool. Candlestick that appears perfectly ordinary, however, it may be enchanted to create a small cloud of flame when waved in the air. Though it provides a means to cast spells with no materials, the damage is low unless used by an expert witch. 8 damage to fire, first damage to caster. So I definitely don't really need that. Puzzle Oracle. Permanent treasure. A dial made of dark stone with Roman numerals etched on its face. Found in the Byzantine Labyrinth. When faced with a difficult puzzle, one can choose to instantly solve it using the Oracle. Unfortunately, the device breaks in the process. As Oracle are quite scarce, the price will increase with each purchase. Cost 10 right now. Well, I haven't hit a puzzle that was too difficult yet. Heals any bleeding buildup and status effect. Or do you just go with first aid? That does the same thing. Cost one, and these cost seven. Or five. Maybe I just go with a couple bandages. So I have four bandages. Grandfather clock. A maintenance key that unlocks any grandfather clock in the mansion, allowing the for time to be set. Grandfather clocks are quite loud. I use the clock chimes to attract all three of the same spot, then had one of my initiate sisters burn them until they had been properly cooked. Grandfather clock in the mansion allowed the time to be set. Grandfather clocks are quite loud, so that'll attract everyone on the floor, I would assume. Let's buy one. Never had one. Spent all my money on it. Time to be set. Is there like a time on record right now? Don't think so. Like nothing indicates time right now. I'm assuming time is... Yeah, I, I, I don't actually don't assume anything. I don't know what to assume. Okay, so here's someone. Hopefully they're in the op opposite. Yeah. So we're gonna go and explore the mausoleum, I guess. See how this goes. Inspect this. Only have one corrupted finger. Okay. So we have we're dealing with any of the you can hold that up and hold spirits at bay. Try not to be dumb. Get the 
enter there. I'm thinking it might be a good idea to take a couple pictures of some phantoms. Sell those pictures. Probably don't need any more first. I already was able to see passage. So let's go to this passage. Hide. Or whatever. Sneak. Okay, I hear someone. Let's maybe Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Um That was scary. Um maybe I haven't fought one of those guys yet. I'm assuming it's not gonna be easy. I kinda don't want to fight one of those guys. Um shit. 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 Can cast that. Oh come on, come on. Wow, that was huge. And he's gonna come after me. Okay. Wow. Oh my god, am I gonna die? What the heck, dude? Wow. Like, I am not prepared for that at, at all. Huh. I really don't want to die. I really don't want to die. Huh. some curse off of us. Not all of it. Hmm. The worry is that I run in there and I try to run away from that guy and I just end up leading myself into like freaking bunch of different enemies. Like, that's, that's all I see happening here. I don't see myself being able to, like, get past that guy. And they're, like, looking for me now. Ghost is running like crazy. They're in the direction that I kind of want to go in, it seems. So she's running like crazy. Go with the camera. So there and then picture. Just got to go with that and picture. Again. Kind of waiting for the big guy. Hopefully he crosses. We can sneak by. Hopefully just take a picture of the ghost real quick. The ghost is just running like crazy. Kind of wanted... Oh, man. I don't know if it's possible. The last time we took a picture... Both enemies died, like, instantly. So, like, I just... Does the picture frame, like, kill everything? Maybe we have some time. Let's try to... Ow. Take a picture of the ghost. Come on, come back. Come back. What? Like, she's way too fast. Why isn't it doing anything? What the heck? How do I take a picture? What the heck? Where 
Where's the freaking controls? What the hell? No, where's the freaking controls? How do I take a picture? Man. Oh no. That sucks, dude. Is there more to this? Is there more to this? Man. I forgot how to take a picture. Like, I thought it was just going to be, like, attacking, but it's not. That is not cool, man. How do you take a picture? I really don't want to die because I don't know how to freaking take a picture. I should be able to. I have freaking four plates. I I'm honestly gonna take a take a freaking look it up because I am not dying here. How do I take a picture? Probably not going to come up. Yeah, no, that's not going to. That's not going to ever work. Damn. I feel really dumb. This really sucks. I'm going to die here because I don't know how to freaking take a picture. Just pressing random freaking buttons at this point. Oh, that's dumb. Stop aiming to reload. So I have to load it? How do I load it? What a freaking piss off. Well, I gotta try running away from this guy if I can. Yep, nope, I'm dead. That was, that was fast. That was fast. What a freaking piss off this game can be. How do you load it? I didn't know you had to load it. Well, how do you load it? I'm just mad now. No, it's going to be recorded currently. Thoroughly modern play camera can be used to create curiously vibrant photographs. Haunted photographs claim that the real ghost looks something wearing a rag over their head to me, but I won't deny they're quite stirring. Sweet! How do I load it? Find camera, prime it, and make photographs with care. Photograph spirit, trap them. What's Daffy doing with the photograph? He's supposed to be laying a trap. Curse Rodents not peering through windows. Sweet. How do I load the freaking camera? That is a joke. Like, what the freaking hell, man? That was very frustrating. How do you load the freaking camera? Well, 
Well, this is just silly, dude. Why are they making it so difficult to just do something simple? I know I probably should have just... Let's reload. Wow. Oh, simple, but at the same time, it's like, man. Really wish that was a lot more straightforward. Now I'm worried it, like... Okay, so you have to reload and then aim and shoot. Reload, aim, shoot. I'm already dead. And I just spent, like, all of my healing that I had here. Just to freaking figure out that I suck. Get her curse down a bit. Definitely want a little bit so we can see the openings, but damn, dude. That really... That was frustrating, man. Just to... Just for it to be so simple, but it's like... It's not very straightforward. And now... Lost a bunch of items. Wasted my time. We're gonna try this again. Hopefully we can actually take a freaking picture. Wonder if taking a picture of both of them actually wins. I feel like it might. We're just gonna go through. And push her back. And then we're gonna... Holy crap, come on, man. We're gonna aim, hold her back, and then aim and shoot. Got him. Does that get both of them? Please get both of them. Nope. Nope. Nope, it didn't. No, it didn't. Okay, we're gonna dodge and run the hell away from this guy. There's another opening there. There's another opening there. I am literally... Hold my breath and... Hope he doesn't see me. I have a feeling he's just going to look for me and see me instantly. Come on. Let's go away. Let's go away. Let's go away. Load the camera. So this is edge maze. Frickin' hell, dude. So I probably can kill both of those guys, because the guy in the night suit is a ghost. Pop out and take a picture. Got both of them, please. Yes, I got both of them. Reload the camera. Two more shots left. Okay. Enchant spell. Up to three suits of armor or dolls can be enchanted to do battle for the caster. The armor will follow the caster from room to room until it dies in combat. Health and danger, health and damage of the armor scale with the spell damage. Call upon Argress to make to maketh run those that stand still. Fifteen curse damage to caster. Interest. So you can control them to do your bidding. Knights in armor. Okay. Harvest Field Spell. Creates a local field of vampiric energy damaging foes and using their vital energies to heal the caster. Vampirism, vampirism does not work when the caster is in danger. I call upon Vapar to sap the vitality of my enemy. 
20 seconds deals damage to each it deals damage each second and heals the cast two physical damage two curse damage and then uh 15 curse damage to caster okay curse ball spell fires a slow moving ball of cursed energy I call upon Azeroth to bring forth his noisium breath. Noisome breath. I don't know. Curse damage 40, physical 15, and poise hit 50. Okay, so a couple new spells. So. Okay. Pop out, maybe hide if we hear him. Oh, oh, nope, nope, stop peeking. Let's hide. Hide. Please, he didn't see me. He didn't see me, right? We're good. Ghost there. That's not an item armor. <laughs> We're gonna. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Please hide! Please hide! Please hide! You didn't see me. Okay, good. This game can be pretty, pretty rough. Okay, let's go back over here. We are loaded camera. Let's take a look. Guess we can just hold out the freaking Bible if we need. Let's hide. Okay. Is there more than just one here? Sounds like it. Yep. There's a ghost in here and a guy. I'm gonna have a little bit of patience here. So the end is there, so he turns around pretty close to here. So I have to go in that direction he's going in. Stop hiding and move up a little bit. Hide again. I'm just gonna keep bumping up a bit until I'm, maybe I go through that door. He doesn't stop and put a poison cloud right where I am. Hands respite. So that's probably a. Am I in a good zone? Yes. That's kind of what it sounded like. Black cross ring. Protective ring. An onyx ring that painted cross. This is always Anne's favorite form of the cross, and I've hired a man to turn into the ring, so we might always remember her fierce belief. 10% health, 10% curse tolerance. Not the greatest. Let's maybe sit. It does his curse. Yes. What else is here? Warding candle. I don't think I need to hide. This is like a safe area. Candle ring. Permanent curious ring. A gold ring with a tiny candle. Produces a small amount of light only visible to the wearer. Invaluable for serotipitous activities in the dark. 50 inner light, 50 perception, and 50 luck. Zombie outfit. Permanent light headwear. A revolting cloth that once belonged to undead creatures. When worn over the face and combined with proper theatrical talent, can fool most undead into thinking the wearer is one of them. Regrettably, the cloth's usefulness is limited by one's inability to interact with objects, crouching or running while wearing it. Very lightweight. Huh!
I can see. Just chill for a sec. When worn over the face and combined with proper theatrical talent, so just that's that doesn't mean anything. Uh, can fool the most undead into thinking the wearer is one of them. Regrettably, the cost of usefulness is limited by one's inability to interact with objects, crouch, or run while wearing it. Most undead. Yeah, she's walking like a zombie. Okay. Well, we're in a safe area. Let's just explore this area a bit. Read inscription. The weary traveler lost in the night breathes many and longing sight and marks the welcome dawn of light with rapture in its high. In memory of Anne Moston, most loving mother to twins Peter and Priscilla. Coin purse. So we get 20 coins. As long as we have 20 coins, we will remain to have 20 coins left over if we die. I'm assuming that if we pass the day, we lose everything. So that's like basically starting the game over. Like if we every day is a new game, it kind of had a guess. OK, so we had some respite. If we put on the mask and we just simply walk by these guys. There's only one way to try. Let's go. I don't want to get the cloud, but let's... We just walk by him? Nope. No, we don't. No, we don't. That's stupid. That is stupid. I'm assuming the ghost can see us, but the guy and the that guy probably won't. Okay, so... Damn it. Camera. <sighs> if I toggle the camera, it's not going to let me. That's very frustrating, trying to, like, organize what you can use and what you can't use. Do I have to take a picture of that freaking ghost while being... Okay, let's just, yeah. Take a picture of the ghost. Hopefully I don't get the attention of the big guy. Ghost went that way. Big guy went that way. Let's go. Let's attack the ghost. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where are you? I can see you now. Here we go. We're taking a picture. Okay. Got him. Now we need to swap over. Put the headgear on. Let's see if this works. Can't roll, so hopefully we just fool him. He took a fart. He doesn't seem to be attacking us. Ghosts aren't fooled. But he is. There's another wall there kind of hope he farts let's let's please fart please fart please fart please fart <laughs> of course okay. we're gonna have to peek through see if there's a ghost on the other side a burning guy through. Can we hide? No. Man, like, we're very limited. As long as we don't hit a ghost, we're fine. I think. 
bit of damage though by walking by him. We hit a ghost, we're kind of screwed, I think. Okay, so there's another thing there. I haven't seen. Can you not pick items up? Probably not. Let's just chill here for a sec, see if this is. No. I wonder if there's any items I'm missing out on. Really hope there isn't. Take a peek. Hinge maze. Is that a ghost? There's ghosts. There's ghosts. And I didn't load my camera, so... Okay, so we're gonna hold the Bible up. Hopefully that puts off everyone. Three suits of armor can be enchanted to do battle with the cast. Like, I'm, I don't understand. Does that mean, like, this spell can be used multiple times? Or if there's three sets of armor in one place? That's a little confusing. Hopefully the Bible... Nope, nope, nope. Come on. Push him back. Push him back. Nope. Okay, so there's a set of armor there. Let's heal. Uh, okay. I only have three heals left. Nope. We're gonna reload the camera. Hopefully, maybe take a picture of all three of these. Reload. Seems like there's three ghosts. Uh, where's my... This is quite nerve-wracking. There's one, two, and I feel like there's a third one. Damn, that sucks. Am I wrong on the third one? Yeah, okay, we're gonna let them pass again. I'll pop out, hide in the bush. So. Hide in the bush. Let them come by again. And then hopefully I can follow them and take a picture from behind or when they turn around. And this is my last picture, so hopefully... I really hope I'm, like, nearing the end of this, but at the same time, I'm kind of worried if I'm nearing the end of this, I'm probably going to hit a boss soon. I'm assuming there's going to be a boss at the end. Oh, for the love of hell. So there is a third one. Man. There's three of them. Great. I almost need to, like, hold this, push him back. We're gonna take a picture. Oh. Of course. I'm, like, super cursed. Does this do anything to help me? No. Nope. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna hide. Hopefully she just goes by me. If I can hide. I hide. 
Where can I hide? Can I hide, please? I don't think it's gonna come this far. Creepy. Hide. Hopefully we can get to a point where it passes by us. I don't have any more fixture slates. <sighs> I wonder... We head back to the respite. Is there a mirror in that respite? I think there was. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Search body. Come on. Search body. Come on. Let's hide again. I really hope. This damn ghost passes us. And I can keep going. Come on. Okay, I can reach a... Nope, 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 nope. We're gonna hide. Come on! Just pass by us, please. Please just pass by. So I can get out of here. Is there a place to hide? Nope. Oh, of course. Of course. Jeez. So ghosts don't follow. It doesn't seem. Is this a place I've already been? Great. Now I'm lost. I don't feel like this is a place I've been. It shouldn't be. What the frickin' hell, dude? We're gonna uncover this. We can go to the other place and get some more pictures. For sure, we can get more pictures now. Open and peek. What is this? Boston Mausoleum exterior. Okay, so there's a candle thing. So there must be, like, a boss around. So let's inspect... Now, if I go here, am I going to be able to return to this spot? That's a real question. I'm a little worried about that. Peek again. Let's go. So there's definitely a camera here. I honestly almost... Just to be safe. Let's light this up. Yes. It doesn't cost anything. Something tells me there's a boss right here. And it's probably that. And it's probably that. Austin Mausoleum. Okay, maybe not. Is this? Speak? Ah, a fresh face. You look about the same age as me. Your face still looks intact, though. I think my body must be rotting in reality, and my face is the first thing to go in the dream. Emma Benyon. My fa my name is Emma. Not that it matters much. I'll make you a deal. Bring me an enchanted spell, and I'll help you break into this mausoleum. While I have an enchanted spell. You're going to like what's inside. Trust me. The first witch can teach you how to make your own enchanted spell. Alternatively, there might be a few scrolls stashed around the hedge maze if you look hard enough. Well, let's uh, hand it to her. You know. Oh, fuck. I've been thinking. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm sure you've been thinking. <sighs> what a frickin' bitch. I know what's happening right now. Yep. Yep. There's, what's in there is pretty valuable. Okay. 
Okay. I'm thinking I'll keep it to myself. No hard feelings. Figured. 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 Both of them. Okay. Well, I have a save there. So, if I want to just be a little... So acid. Aim. Fire. Dummy spell. Or maybe another acid? Acid seemed to do a lot to that guy. Aim. Fire. Oh, what the hell? She just swapped places with me. And he's about to throw something at me. My health just went down a lot. I'm not expecting to make it past this hit. Here's Rot. I'm not surprised. I'm gonna die here. I'll just kinda let it happen, but... Interesting. Okay, so it's a good thing we saved. I kind of figured that we were going to get attacked because we had that save there, so. Good to know. Let's go back. Go in here. Let's go here. Hopefully we can return to that spot. So let's sell some pictures. Hopefully get some uh, good amount of gold from that. Yeah, seven gold, five gold, a grand, and multifaceted work. Because I had two guys in there. Oh, look at that phantasm. A specter, how grand. And this ghost gives me chills. So I made a decent amount of coin there, not a lot. Um, we'll buy more slates. Essentially, it's one for one. Kind of sucks. There's a little bit better in that one. Kind of weird that it's kind of a one for one type deal. Don't really make any money from pictures. I have three pictures. Let's just keep three for now. I don't want to spend money elsewhere. The other dude sold these for five. He's selling them for seven. Hmm. Definitely not easy game. Definitely not easy game. Buy some more bandages. Got two of those. Maybe we can sell some stuff. look like it. I kind of want all of this stuff. Max health, max curse. Maybe I can sell this. Probably not going to use this. Let's do that. Okay. Let's see if we can return to that spot. Edge maze. Is it the same spot? It is. Assuming taking a picture of Emma doesn't do anything. She's not a spectral. But taking a picture of that armor... Oh, only one way to find out. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to actually do this, but give it a shot. It's just, just another test run. Anything else? Just open that. 
hide and hide. What's this? Hide? Alright, well, let's try this again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I take a picture of this guy and does he disappear? Why? Oh, for the love of hell. What the hell? I don't even have any... What? Where's my slates? I bought slates, didn't I? I bought three of them. I literally just bought three slates. Yeah. So why is it acting like I don't have any? It says I have three right there. Oh, this is frustrating. Three right there. So why? Weird. Okay. Let's take a picture of this guy, hopefully. Took a picture. Does that do anything? Nope. No, it didn't. So that was a waste of a picture. I used acid and she swapped places. I don't want to use acid on the statue, not her. Can I do it again? Damn it. I'm in danger. Healed myself. I use a stick warding. It's paralysis. I don't think that'll work on the statue. I kept the statue at bay. So I can hit her. I'm just like stun locking her. So let's go with the first aid kit. With the pipe. I still have the pipe. I want to put another candle down. Let's stun lock her. I've got her to half. I don't have any more healing, do I? Might have a... Honic jar. Put down another candle. Have him at bay. Have her attack me. Do another spell. Hopefully it doesn't. Yeah, perfect. I'm gonna hit her. Come on, I almost got her. I got her. I got her. She's dead. You're dead. I got you. Big attack. Big attack. Stunder. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Just don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Let's go. Almost got her. I really almost got her. She's. I need to put another ward down. Putting it down. Is she gonna come my way? Yes, perfect. Got her. She's dead. Oh yeah! Whew. Okay. Notes fashion record. Permanent fashion record. A set of notes that record the current list of equipped rings, amulets, and outfits for quick recall. Adjusting one's attire to suit the situation has never been easier. The record is a currently empty. Human finger offering. The severed finger of a human. Murder is sometimes necessary for the greater good in case the very fate of the world is at stake. It's critical we act. Emma. Defeated Emma, guardian blood. Offering human finger. The best students are often those that lose their way the most. 23 remembers tier so I can remember another item. What a thing. What a thing. So I 
killed Emma. We need... We know we are, like, out of every item for heal. So we have two tonics left. We might be able to make more. Or no, we have one tonic left. Can I make more? Yes, one more. We really... So what's in the mausoleum? Hopefully not too many enemies. Maybe a save point? I don't know. I'm just wishing. I'm really hoping. Really hoping. There's no peeking. Boston Mausoleum. Let's just kind of slowly stick around. Alfred Mauston. Alfred Mauston, born 13th of July, 1813, Lancaster, England, died 10th of June, 1874, of fever. Constantinople, Ottoman Empire. AD Astra per As Aspera. Okay. I am really low health. Maybe I should just heal. Priscilla Mauston. Born 5th of February, 1846. Aberdare, Wales. Died 14th of June, 1874. Of fever, Constantinople, Ottoman Empire. Godotti Morimvir. Really nervous here. What's in here? Inspect. A A A. The son studied every letter of his family's Latin inscriptions. Father. Two precacious children in his heart. Sister. Four corners of the world to explore with her family. Mother. Six days a week caring for caring for the rest, and one day to honor God. Truly. The family is divine. What is the... Is this alphabet? This is the alphabet. To X, V, T, S, R, U, E, O, N, M, L, A. It's not the entire al the alphabet. And Most. Born 5th December of 1825, Newport, Wales. Died the 22nd of October, 1854, of cholera, Aberdare, Wales. Fiat Invistia et Triat Venus. Venus. Peter Mostyn. Born 5th February 1846, Aberdeen, Wales. Died 17th of August 1881 of a heart failure. Ang Abergreveni, <laughs> Abergreveni, Wales. Vidavism, Nevisa for spectral and. Yeah, I can't read that. So something to do with their inscriptions. Curse Central Candle. I don't have that. Hmm. So, let's read what the, the clue is here. The Sun Dai studied every letter of his family's Latin inscriptions. So I don't have to worry about Peter. Father, sister, mother. Who two precious children in his heart? What does that mean? Two precious children in his heart. Father. Two 
two precious children is hard. Only one letter. Looking to see the number of letters. So D has one. A has a lot more than two. S has two. There's only one T. R has three. A has a lot more. There's two P's. Damn it. My theory there is kind of probably gone. Right? Because there's... Two S's, two T's. Or no. So that's probably wrong. The father, two children in his heart. One letter. So I was thinking maybe a number of letters in the inscription. Four corners of the world to explore with her family. to explore with her family. Man, what does this mean? Four corners of the world. I'm trying to do the same thing with the number of letters, but like I, I think that theory died with the first with the first one there. days a week caring for the rest and one day to honor God. Really a family is divine. stuff that looks mother one two three one two three four five that's five words six days a week and then the seventh she worshiped god do not really understand what I'm supposed to be looking for here. Studied every letter of their family's inscription. Probably straightforward. Hold up here. D. V. What was 
is this one? Sister four. I. It's probably that simple. It's literally probably that simple. D. I. And V. That simple. That took a quite a while to figure out that simple freaking thing. Right idle eye. Place missing eye. This will end chapter one. Well, look at that. Mass man, I can't believe it. You've gotten the eye back. I apologize for the deception of this mask. Peter Mostyn. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Peter Mostyn. So he didn't die. Or... Yes, that is my sarcophagus over there. I am dead in the real world. Allow me to explain. My twin sister, Priscilla, and I had been interested in magic since we were children. We always hoped to find a way to contract our dear deceased mother, but nothing worked. It wasn't until 1874 that we finally re found real magic. We were invited to on a diplomatic trip to visit Constantinople, the ancient city of Byz Byzantium. While my father worked to ingratiate himself with the politicians we had traveled with, Priscilla and I searched for artifacts to purchase. After many encounters with shady merchants and frauds, we were finally shown this idol with ruby eyes. The price was high, but we were promised miraculous effect, so the idol was purchased. That night, Priscilla and I awoke in the dream for the first time. You see, this idol is the source of, of the dream, and it recreates anything its ruby eyes see. The idol is a painter of sorts. It tries to portray its subjects accurately, but it's prone to extra, extra flotation and flights of fancy. Extra flotation. Is that the word? Extra flotation? And flights of fancy. Once this ruby gaze has fallen upon someone, it will incorporate them into the dream. Father had caught a fever shortly after he arrived in Constantinople. Only a few days after purchasing the idol, Priscilla sh showed symptoms of fever as well. Within a fortnight, they were both dead. My grief, as you can imagine, was boundless. But to my utter astonishment, Priscilla was still alive in the dream. The idol did not know of her death. I returned home to Mostyn House with the bodies in idol. As I show the idol more of the house and of my of life, the dream grew grander. I was able to convince the idol that magic exists was some simpler parlor trick in pyrotechnics. Okay. In the dream, my sister and I slowly created a paradise. Of course, even with magic in the dream, we never were able to meet Mother. The idol had never seen her. As you have seen, Dr. Blackett and his henchmen have turned the dream into a nightmare. It is time to end the dream by destroying the idol representation of itself in the dream. Thank you for returning the eye. I am too weak to have done it myself. Now, let me prepare the destruction spell. <gasps> Filthy wretch. Oh, Peter, you finally let down your guard for a moment. Now you have been quite naughty boy, haven't you? Dr. Robert Black. Excellent work, my wretch. Mr. Wretch. Mm, Peter, my old friend, how far you have fallen. I tried to help you. Why wouldn't you just destroy it? Why would you try to destroy the dream? Collect the ash ashes for the erasure ritual. Peter shall cause us no more trouble. Take the girl to the observatory. I have other matters to attend to. 
Well, shit. All right, chapter one complete. Chapter two. Boston House, 1880-1892, in a dream. Nightingale is taken to the observatory in the attic. Eventually, the wretch is asleep. Well begins to wane. She wakens to find a letter at the foot of her bed. Okay. New quest, find a way to escape the observatory. Well, that was interesting. And that's where we're going to end it for now. Uh, thank you for watching. Wrench feels like playing. Withering Rooms.